Hello, how is everyone? Good. Good. My name is Samantha Reppia. I'm the account executive. This is our team. Chris Taniguchi, Sue Kim, and Pamela Kim. And our client is Motor Press Guild. So I'm going to start off by giving a little background on what Motor Press Guild is. So it is the largest automotive media association in North America. It is an exclusive and nonprofit organization that is dedicated to upholding the highest ideals in automotive journalism, promoting education and information exchange within the motoring press. Um, our members range from public relations specialists to journalists, photo photographers, and more. Um, some of our benefits include exclusive invita invitations to OEM and industry-related events, discounts on events hosted by MPG, a yearly media guide with contacts for over 4,000 industry professionals, and much more. And if you were to want, if you were to apply for Motor Press Guild to be a member, you must submit um, work that work samples that show your involvement in the automotive industry. So now I'm going to pass on to Krista, and she's going to give you the SWOT analysis. Thank you, Sammy. So to, um, to begin this campaign, we started with a SWOT analysis. Um, some of the strengths that we discovered with MPG is um, some of the positive internal attributes that it does have. As Sammy said, it is the largest automotive media association um, in North America. And this Los Angeles-based organization has many members that also kind of double um, as their audiences as well from, like she said, um, photographers, broadcasters, and even go as far as uh, millennials and social media bloggers. Um, some of the membership uh, benefits she already touched base on, but you also get an exclusive um, subscription to Miles Post, admissions to free um, the P uh, Peterson Automotive Museum, um, and much more. The exclusivity of the organization is one of its strengths, um, but at times it also can be one of its weaknesses. Um, being so exclusive, the potential outreach to prospective members um, uh, to become memberships is a little weak, especially young professionals in the industry that are currently sitting on the outside. Um, the engagement in, with the current members is a little low, and the social media channels um, are not existed, not used to their full potential. Um, there are many um, internal opportunities and external opportunities to expand. Increasing the social media activity to create more awareness um, in a day and age where everything is at your fingertips and just a click away. Also, um, <coughs> engaging in the younger professionals in the automotive industry, um, appealing to journalists at colleges and universities is a great opportunity for um, the organization to grow as well. Um, the th there are two main threats to MPG, <laughs> the first being the International uh, Motor Press Association, which is one of the oldest, and the Western Automotive Journalists, uh, the WAG, which J, which is also um, very, very um, uh, involved in colleges and universities across um, the United States, so they kind of have that niche there, and they also um, appreciate their members more by posting a lot of their work. So on to core problems and opportunities. There, are, MPG does have a few core problems based on the qu client consultation back in August. MPG is looking to increase their brand awareness, um, focusing especially on young professionals, and by doing so, increase the membership. Um, the three main social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, don't have very much, did not have very much activity. Um, and with the popularity of these sites, especially in Instagram, um, it's a great opportunity um, to expose, to increase exposure and brand awareness. Um, additionally, MPG should showcase who they are by creating um, pages such as YouTube pages. Right here is um, Right Track Motoring. It's a YouTube page that uh, went to MPG Track Days in 2014. They posted this video to their YouTube page and they had over 274,000 views. So collaborating with someone such as this could increase that exposure 274,000 times. <coughs> So now I am going to pass it along to Sue. Thanks, Krista. So once we were able to figure out kind of what the core problems and opportunities were, as Krista just went over, we were able to sit and come up with some goals and objectives that we really wanted to meet during our campaign. Um, we established two overall goals. The first was to increase MPG's total membership. 
Um, along with numbers, we really want to focus on really engaging younger professionals in the industry, which were not as common um, in MPG. The second goal we had was to raise brand awareness of the organization, along with the various events it hosts. The two that we were um, privileged enough to attend this campaign was Track Days and MPG Awards, which Pam will go into more detail later. And then along with those goals, we also established a couple of objectives that we wanted to meet as well. The first being to increase our Instagram following by 100%. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but when we first started with it, we had like 36 followers. <laughs> um, the second one was to raise early bird sales for track days. And then lastly, to expand membership and recruit new younger members. So our overall strategy for the campaign was to really utilize our various social media platforms primarily Instagram, followed by Twitter. Um, when we were looking at the platforms, we noticed that Facebook was getting um, pretty regularly updated, but Instagram was almost non-existent. <coughs> very little followers, very little content, so that's where we really wanted to focus. And then we also wanted to increase engagement on these platforms as well. So for our, for our first objective, um, the first thing that we did was automatically, we started following a lot more pages. We weren't following people, so they aren't gonna be following us back. So we went ahead, we followed a bunch of manufacturers, we followed um, different Instagram pages that were well known in the automotive industry as well. We made sure we were posting um, new content often, including photos, um, updates on upcoming events. And then we also made sure to create and use hashtags. Some examples are the ones we created for track days, including MPG Track Days 2016, um, Drive to Network, etc. And then for our second objective for track days was we went ahead and wrote both a social media release and a normal press release for the event. Um, previous track days, they did have the early bird sales, but members did not take full advantage of the benefits of that. So this year, we wanted to make sure and let them know that track days was going on. They could go ahead and purchase their tickets early and for a lot cheaper of a price. And then for our last objective, to build interest in younger professionals, we made sure to really actively use our social media platforms. Um, when we were attending, at the events, we made sure that we were constantly updating our Snapchat and Instagram so all of the people that we were following and that were following us could see like how much fun these events really were and what was really going on. Next, I'm going to pass on to Pam, who's going to go over the outcomes of our overall campaign. Thank you. Okay, so one of our main goals was to increase the sales of um, the tickets for the event, especially Track Days, which was our first event. Um, we brought the early bird <coughs> press release which resulted in 30 signups right after the release with an overall 65 uh, ticket sales for the event. Um, then we really focused on our social media, um, Twitter and Instagram. Um, Instagram, uh, we, I mean Twitter, we focused really on doing track days. We uh, posted the event, uh, or the actual event, what was going on throughout the day, um, and that resulted in 371 profile visits uh, 3,600 tweet impressions and 14 new followers during the event. Um, in Instagram, we started with 36, 37 uh, followers and we actually went up, increased it by 170%. Um, right there it says 100 followers. As of now, we have 105, which is <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> <laughs> great accomplishment if you ask. Um, so we did this by the use of hashtags and, and just posting pictures about the events and things that um, MPG was, uh, you know, focused on or hosted or things that they, they do, you know, as an organization. Um, this is an overall calendar of what we did throughout the whole semester working with MPG. Um, our main events was October 4th and 5th for track days, which was a two-day event. Um, then we went on to the LA Auto Show, November 18th to the 27th. And um, finally, we had the MPG Awards, which was actually two days ago. So that was a great success as well. And moving on to the events here, I can show you some pictures. Uh, right there, the first picture is us in track days. The track is the actual, uh, it's in the back. Um, <laughs> the track is in the back, that's uh, the Willow Springs. And then on the bottom, we have some of the cars that were featured during track days, and the journalists could um, <laughs> The journalists could drive and test and so they can write the reviews um, and things like that. Um, then we had the MPG Awards this week. That's 
them, my colleagues right here. Um, I wasn't able to stay, unfortunately, but I was there for the setup. Yeah, I did my part. And then that's, <laughs> uh, on the bottom there, there's the president of MPG. I'm, ass I'm assuming he's introducing the whole event. And over here we have the LA Auto Show. Okay, and to conclude, every oh, the recommendations, sorry, it's mm -hmm. Emmy. So we have a few recommendations for Motor Press Guild. The first being increasing member interaction. So what we had come up with was kind of incorporating member appreciation. For example, maybe a member of the month. So featuring one of our members, a journalist, photographer, whoever, on the website or on social media and with an article talking about their involvement in the automotive industry. Another would be consistency with the social media. We suggest posting at least once a week, definitely more when upcoming events are coming. We can post when something big happens in the industry. And also another recommendation would be whoever is managing the social media to be able to attend board meetings so that the information is timely. Another would be to utilize videos. Like Krista had mentioned before, this can be really beneficial and it can attract user or viewers and new members. So making a YouTube channel and utilizing Facebook Live and Instagram Live. And lastly, would be to improve the quality of our membership cards. So this again would increase the members' experience with Motor Press Guild, and we could do this by adding a photo or laminating them. So overall, working with MPG has been a positive experience. This campaign gave us the opportunity to utilize skills and apply them to real objectives and goals. And before working with MPG, none of us were really aware of the vast possibilities in the automotive industry. And by attending these events and working with Motor Press Guild, we were able to connect and network with professionals in the industry that will help build our careers and benefit our careers. And we also want to thank Pete Evanaugh for his help <laughs> and giving us this opportunity to work with Motor Press Guild. Well, um, thank you for your time, and I hope everyone has a great winter break. <laughs>